referring to is being able to help each other. On the defensive end of the floor, you saw a lot of layups. You know, when he gets frustrated when he supports, you know, a guard coming off the screen roll and nobody supports him. And a big roll into the basket, and it's quite simple. Just gotta win one game, yeah. Everybody's tripping. Win one game. We'll win the next game, and then you move on to the next one. It's as simple as that. All right, it's great to be joined by Cedric Sabalos, former NBA All-Star, and he's a member of the Lakers from 94 to 96. Young people, Google his stuff <laughs> during the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Good stuff. All right, Cedric, we just heard Kobe reacting to Bynum's comments. Take us inside that locker room. Is someone going to go up to Bynum today and say, hey, look, What's going on with that? What, what do you make of what went on last night? Well, I think it needs to be done. And I think what he wanted to do was just kind of wake up the fact that you guys are not helping me and recover. But he should have done it in the media. Who knows? It might be a bad decision. Same thing happened to us in Phoenix when Houston, we going down to their place, took first two games. They came back and won the series. It's about them coming together, getting the nucleus, saying, hey, are we going to commit to try to win another championship? If not, let's go ahead and, 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 and push it in right now and just go to a nice vacation. What is going on defensively with the the Lakers. I mean, offensively, they were bad, especially from beyond three-point range. But J.J. Barrera, they're making him look like Pistol Pete Maravich out there. He's getting to the rim whenever he wants to. Well, when you're not doing things on the offensive end, you know that triggers your defensive end. They're not digging down. They're, they're based on uh, them doing the triangle. Uh, Phil Jackson has a way of making everybody happy. Right now, they're not happy offensive, not because they're not getting touches or getting where they want to. It's because they're not making shots. And when you're making shots, it increases your defense. So now you got Barrera coming in, splitting the defense. One person wants to stay on their man. They don't want to leave. That's what Bynum is talking about. And they just need to come together a little bit tighter on the defensive end. And then that'll spark that offense. Well, uh, former Laker great Magic Johnson tweeting this uh, after last night's game. Mavs have the Lakers pointing fingers at one another. It's going to be a tough climb to come back. And I think there, he's talking about the Lakers, their chances are slim. You've played for this franchise. You know the, the high regard that Magic Johnson has in that city and amongst those players in that franchise. If you're on this current Laker group, what do you make of Magic's comment? Well, Magic is a team guy, and uh, obviously he wants the team to work together. That's what he's talking about in that comment. He wants you guys not to point fingers, to get it together. He knows that this organization, and also Kobe Bryant, has the ability to come back from 2-0. It's just, will you guys do it? Yes, Jason Kidd. Yes, Dirk will make this very difficult for him. Mark Cuban has put together a great bunch that wants to play together. That's the biggest thing. The previous years when they got eliminated first rounds and second rounds, I don't really think they understood who the big star was. Now they know Dirk is, uh, the associated teammates that they have, and Jerry, Jason and Jason, they make him look so great. So now it's going to be an uphill battle for him. Obviously, you know, they've been tested. They've been there before. And where, where is Luke Walton? That guy is so much inspiration. He puts himself out on the floor, and he's battle-tested. He's been to the finals. He's been to a position where some of the guys, Blake, uh, Matt Barnes, yeah. Have not been. And then you, you have a guy and Shannon Brown that wants to be, and I think it's time for him to break out to be a superstar. So he might be moving on after this. Well, if Ron Artest is suspended for that uh, hard foul last night, maybe a guy like Luke Walken could get some uh, run in game three. Cedric Sabalos, hey, thanks for joining us. No problem. All right. Well, Sports Center Express taking you through the teams that were able to come back after losing the first two games at home. 